minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Sentinel 6B. Sentinel 6B rising, extending nearly four decades of the precise sea level record from space. Falcon 9 booster is currently firing all nine of those Merlin engines at 190,000 pounds of thrust per engine, and we can hear it, and soon we're going to feel that in our chest. So exciting. After about 50 seconds, those engines will begin throttling down slow to slow down the vehicle to prepare for max Q. Think of it as kind of like a low Falcon key fire. Max Q or maximum know. aerodynamic pressure is when Falcon 9 will feel the largest structural load of the vehicle that it's going to see during its entire boost phase of flight. Slowing down the vehicle just means that Falcon, Falcon 9, 9 is going to experience a less load. Now traveling faster than the speed of max sound. Q. Preparing for max Q. Now we have a few events coming up in quick succession, starting with main engine cutoff or MECO. That's when SpaceX and will shut two. down all of its nine engines on the first stage. Shortly after MECO, stage two will separate from the inner stage and the booster. And then the second stage is going to continue on igniting the Merlin vacuum engine. We're going to hear the call out for that second engine start one or SES one. That burn should last just under six minutes. A lot of clouds in the area, so our ground shots not able to pick up that traditional flight into the night sky, but we are looking right down the barrel of the first stage with the onboard camera. Again, the clouds not enough to stop launch, but certainly from a low pressure system in the area. Main engine cutoff. Standing by for main engine cutoff. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. Stage one boost back startup. That was that was a beautiful light up of the second stage, and you're looking now getting ready for the the fairings to come off. That's our next big milestone. Confirmed. And there go the fairings. You see now Sentinel Six exposed to the Elements of space now soaring towards orbit. Another step complete in our ongoing effort to understand Earth's heartbeat Stage through its oceans. We're 50 seconds into the second stage first burn. And now the first stage booster basically hitting the brakes by firing three of its nine engines to reverse course and head back down towards the landing zone. This burn that we're seeing here of the second stage Merlin vacuum engine will last just under six minutes. This will take Sentinel-6B to its parking orbit. That's going to be followed by a 45-minute coast where we're just going to allow and rely on orbital mechanics and physics to take the spacecraft the majority of the rest of the way. This is the exact same flight design and trajectory that we flew back in 2020 on Sentinel-6 Michael Freilich.
Today's first stage booster heading back down to the landing zone, which was former, formerly the Space Launch Complex 4 West. It's just about a quarter of a mile from the launch pad. So if you're in the area, you will expect to hear the double sonic boom once it uh, breaks the sound barrier on the way back down. We have two minutes and 10 seconds left in this first burn. We're at T plus six minutes and 15 seconds into flight. First stage entry burn, just a minute away. The Falcon Stage 2 rocket and the Sentinel-6B now racing southward across the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Baja, California, Mexico. A few seconds away now from the first stage entry burn. Stage 1 entry burn start up. And there we have it. That first stage entry burn has just begun. That landing burn stage two is going to last minutes. about 25 seconds. That burn just helps reduce the speed of the vehicle to, to ensure a softer touchdown of the booster. Falcon 9 is using a few of the Merlin engines and four grid fins to help guide and orient the booster on its way down. Stage one entry Those burn four grid down. fins are out. And the burn is complete. Stage two FTS is saved. It's awfully dark out there, so we don't have a lot of illumination. But when they do light those burns, we get a good view. So look at our ground track. And back shut down. And we should be coming up on the end Nominal of our orbit burn. Insertion. There you Stage heard it. Stage one transonic. Stage one FCS is safe. Stage one landing burn. A good first burn. Now here comes the booster. Back down on land. Heard a big sonic boom here in the broadcast booth. The landing pad coming into view, four Stage landing one, legs one. extended. And there you heard it. The booster, its job complete, back on land and ready for another flight. My goodness, Daryl, that never gets old. <laughs> that was really loud. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. We hear cheers from the folks at the Mission Director Center who all ran outside to try and get a glimpse of the rocket. They may not have seen it, but they certainly heard it, felt it, and they definitely uh, heard and felt that sonic boom for the first stage coming back down.